Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Shepherd of souls, in love, come feed us. Life-giving bread for hungry hearts. To those refreshing waters lead us, where dwells that peace your grace imparts. May we, the wayward in your fold, by your forgiveness rest consoled. Life-giving vine, come feed and nourish, strengthen each branch with life divine. Ever in you, O oh, may we flourish, fruitful the branches on the vine. Lord, may our souls be purified, so that in Christ we may abide. Sinful is man who kneels before you, worthy of you, or you alone. Yet in your name do we implore you, rich are or the mercies you have shown. Say but the word, O Lord divine, then our hearts made pure like thine. I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name, for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for Himself, and Israel for His own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever He wills in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of our land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer. Alleluia. Blessed is the kingdom of David our Father, which has come among us. Alleluia. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice to his people and for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed. He who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. Blessed is the kingdom of David our Father, which has come among us. Alleluia. Let us sing to the Lord, glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor? Or the glory do your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. 
your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord, glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 5. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and share in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly as God would have you do, not under constraint and not for shameful profit either, but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and ever prayed for them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a faithful and wise steward. The Lord entrusted the care of his household to him so that he might give them their portion of food at the proper season. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is a faithful and wise steward. The Lord entrusted the care of his household to him, so that he might give them their portion of food at the proper season. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray, bring salvation to your people. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. You forgave the sins of your people when they when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion, through their intercession continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, won by the price of your blood, remain far from you. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you, gave, you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those of whom you gave up your life. Let us make our prayers and praises complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Lord God, you gave St. Philip Neri the spirit of truth and love to shepherd your people. May we who honor him on this feast learn from his example and be helped by his prayers. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.